any time, whether during or at the end of our project, we can create a visualization, views from our projects, outside and inside. The cameras from where we will be viewing the project can be placed in various places, which will be very helpful. We add them with the add camera icon based on the current view. We give a name to it. Of course, it is good to give it a name that will tell us later what view it is. We still have the multi-rendering option, which shows us a list of saved cameras from which we can create visualizations. If we have camera 1, camera 2, camera 3, we may not know which camera is which and from which one we actually want to do the rendering. In this option, the rendering settings can be defined separately for each camera, and we can confuse the internal view. We can define cameras in any place. The number of cameras is unlimited. We can also place the camera inside. Here, I have such a camera saved. We can move between saved cameras by selecting them from the list. Of course, we can save the rendering separately from the defined cameras. They only facilitate the possibility of returning to the place set in the project. If we want to place any picture into the background, we can choose it from the 3D view options icon. We can set the default background or link the file from anywhere on your computer. We save the rendering from the current view. We choose quality. For quick renderings of good quality, you can choose normal with only the marked reflections of light. We can still change various other parameters. If we have introduced the windrows in the project, we can still calculate the rendering for the project on a specific day or at a specific time. Thanks to this, we can, for example, check whether something will be shaded or if we we'll are shading another building at a specific time. Those settings can be saved and used in subsequent projects. Rendering moves our project to another program, Arcadia Arts. This means that during rendering process, we can continue working on the project. This is not blocked in any way because it's already a different program. So here we can, for example, do dimensioning or modify the project in any other way. This view can be saved with the background that is in rendering. With a background, we have chosen in a 3D view or without a background. For example, with a transparent background so that we can insert any picture in any graphic program. We can save the rendering as a bitmap, JPEG or PNG file. We still have the multi-rendering option where we have a list of cameras. We can choose which camera will be saved and which ones will not. For each camera, separately, we can define the rendering parameters. For that reason, it is good to know from the name which the camera is placed inside or outside to select the appropriate parameters. If we have specific camera settings, we can define in which place the program should save renderings and which backgrounds where. In principle, we can leave the computer to save all visualizations. We can also select the option for the program to turn off the computer at the end. 
if we do not have the Arcadia architecture module or we do not need a rendering, we can save the current scene. We will save it, for example, on the desktop. Such a recording does not take into account shadows or possible additional lighting of the scene.